What's up, everybody? It's Dis Thunder from the Foosh, and we're going to take just a real quick, brief look today at the Mezco 112 Collective Wolverine San Diego Comic Con 2023 exclusive figure. Reason I'm going to try to keep it brief is because this is actually a figure that we have recently reviewed on the channel in the form of the Steelbox Wolverine. Exact same body, same hands, most of the same heads, just a new suit, uh, and that's really well. Boots, and that's about it. So the exclusive costume here is based on the look he had in Uncanny X-Men 275 from spring of 91, which is, I think, right before... X-Men number one dropped, and then we go to the blue and gold team. So it's kind of an interesting uh, limbo time between X-Men eras. Pretty good stuff, though. If you're looking for, I think the issue has crept up in value a bit in the last couple years, but it is collected in a few things. I have it in the X-Men Visionaries Jim Lee collection, which is pretty easy to get if you're looking for it. And in that regard, it's pretty accurate to the look of the Jim Lee art. Um, it's got a little bit of Mezco embellishment. I will show you in comparison. There's a little bit of change in details. But otherwise, it's a very clean, straightforward costume, which is why I like it. Um, I also like the fact that there's a lot of potential for reuse of this suit for some other X characters, should they decide to go that route. So here he is real quick with the Steelbox Wolverine. Um, I have the bone claws on this one because I didn't think about it when I grabbed it out of the case, but they are the same hand sculpts. They have the same texture and, and the same kind of uh, knuckle plate on the top. And the belt is actually also from that Steelbox collection, just recolored in a, a more red tone to match the look of the uniform. Here's a little closer look at the gloves. You can see they have the same studs and the same padding to them. Now this is my custom that I made, I don't even think I made it six months, maybe it was three or four months ago, using a C4 Charles costume and just some extra parts I had laying around from Cyclops. And you can see I obviously had the same idea they did, I even used the same head. So obviously reusing those thigh bands from Cyclops to Wolverine makes sense, but you might notice that the boots are actually not the same. I'll show that in a little closer detail here. As we get in closer, you can see that, yes, these are the same two head sculpts, exact same heads. Um, the hands are new where I had to make my own. Obviously, the gloved hand is much better than sticking claws inside a Cyclops hand. But here's what I wanted to get to. While the foot sculpt is probably the same, the shin part of that boot is probably two straps smaller than Cyclops, which means it required less modification and it just looks more proportional overall than the way I did it. For new parts, we get a new Battle Damage Logan head, which is uh, kind of a nice companion piece to the masked one that comes with the Steelbox version. As you can see here, you see the adamantium skull peeking out of the scratches in his face. And of course, Wolverine's one of those few characters that I don't mind having some yelling head options for. I don't use them on a lot of stuff, but it just makes sense for Wolverine. So we'll come back around here and do a little dynamic action -y pose with one of those slashing effects. As you can see, they are the same ones as the steel box, as I mentioned, I think, probably three times so far in this video. But there's honestly nothing wrong with that. They're a cool effect. Um, if it's good Wolverine parts, which obviously these are, you might as well make use of them. And just for comparison's sake and for archive's sake, here is a look at the figure with the two alternate heads also. The first one is a masked Wolverine head which I believe is an homage to the 10-inch uh, Marvel Universe Toy Biz figure from uh, presumably 92, 93. I don't know that I've seen this in a comic anywhere, so I think this is where this originates, but if uh, somebody does know of another point of origin here, let me know in the comments. I'd be curious to check that out. And lastly, here is the, well, I call it the John Byrne Wolverine, but I, I suppose that's not completely exclusive i suppose you can call it whatever you want when he lives at your house but just the, the cleaned up slick back hair logan head that came with the steel box i include it here though because i i thought if you add that logan bomber jacket and were to throw a morph head on there maybe swap the cyclops boots in so he gets a little more height i, I think you got a stew going so while I think this is a good figure on its own right, um, I think it's also fair to say there are a lot of options when it comes to Wolverine figures, especially in 112 Collective. And I can see people being hesitant to go after this one because maybe if you're looking to build one of these teams, I don't know that this is the line that's going to do it for you. But that being said, there's no two ways about it. There is now an X-Men training suit uniform cloth template in Mezco's uh, closet. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with that. And that means there is now the possibility of a Forge or a Morph or a Banshee 
you name it, something like that down the line if the demand is there. And in some ways that's more exciting to me than just this figure. But if you take this figure just as is on its own, it's a good Wolverine in a good costume that comes with a lot of accessories. So value wise, it's great. It's just that potential wise, it might be even better. So back to the recommendation side of it, I do recommend him uh, with the acknowledgement that he's not for everybody. Um, if you like the costume as a standalone, without the guarantee you're gonna get more figures to go with him, then I think it's worth tracking down. But if not, if you have the Steelbox version especially, I think you're okay without it. But that takes nothing away from the execution of the figure, which Mezco did an excellent job on as normal. So of course, thank you to Mezco Toys for helping me get one to review. Thanks to you guys for coming by to watch. Hope it was informative and we will talk again soon.